hello there guys and welcome back to another python tutorial uh, in this python tutorial we're going to be going over um, creating a menu system um, for the terminal window much like the one I used in um, the banking banking app videos um, so to begin with we're going to go ahead and we're going to go while true this is going to make an infinite loop so when we jump out to other functions and jump back it's still going to run um, no matter what until we quit which is going to be the option for say Q. <coughs> so what we're going to go ahead and do is go print um, and then we can go ahead and drop those a few lines and add a list here um, options I guess. There's going to be a list um, and it's going to store the Items that are going to be displayed in our um, oops, in our uh, menu. So we've got say A is going to be sorry A is going to be um, addition. Uh, B is going to be subtraction. And Q is going to be quit. So what we're going to go ahead and do now is we're going to go for I in range, sorry, for I in options, print I. So what this is going to do, if we go down to our um, command line, you can see it will just infinitely uh, print out those options. Uh, we're going to add an input statement in there that will stop it doing that. Okay, so now to add that um, the state, uh, the input statement, so we're going to have user in equals input, um, and it's by default a string. Uh, choose your option. Um, obviously, you can make this whatever you want. Uh, but I'm just making it choose your option because I mean we're giving them options and we're going to have a print here that's empty so that it breaks uh, a line in between that. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is we're going to write our first um, if statement. So if uh, user in dot upper uh, this is going to make it so that it's always uppercase and you can compare it to an uppercase character and it will then um, it'll then always return true if you put in a lowercase a or an uppercase a. Um, and for this we're going to call our addition um, our function which we will go ahead and create now. Define addition define subtraction and quit doesn't need to be defined but we're just going to pass these for now because we don't need anything in them, um, we will do that uh, later on. Alright, so now let's go ahead and write out if uh, user in is equal to uh, b, and we need to chuck our dot upper in there, and go down to our next line called subtraction, and then we go uh, elif user in uh, dot upper is equal to uh, q, uppercase q, uh, we will quit, I uh, will break, sorry. Um, and then we want to do an else, which is going to print out that is not an option, slash n, because we want it to break and leave an empty line. It's so lowercase p. Alright, so now we can go ahead and test this. Um, so what it does is it goes through the for loop, prints out our, our options, obviously you can put as many in here as you want, uh, then you just need to add the if statements for it, um, print a blank line, we then want to ask for user input so that you can choose one of the selections from here. Uh, we have uh, our first selection which will go to the addition function, we have our second which will go to the subtraction function, we have our um, quit which will break and end the program, and we have our that is not an option uh, option. Alright, let's go ahead and look at this in the terminal. Alright, so let's go ahead and rerun this. Um, you see we get our A, B, Q, 
we can go with A. It'll it'll go into the addition function, then jump back out because um, there's nothing in there. B will work, and Q will quit the program. What is wrong there? Huh. Okay, one second. Okay, so the issue here is we'll put the parentheses on the end of upper. Um, so that should work now. So let's go ahead and rerun this. We got A, B, and Q. And you can see that Q now quits out of the program. The other two work. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll go write those functions now. Okay, so in the addition function, we're not going to pass it anything. Um, actually, we might, because passing variables is uh, useful. So let's go ahead with num1 and num2. Good variable names. Um, what we want to do is we want to go ahead here and we want to go um, num1 equals input in input, sorry. Input, sorry. Input first number. Copy and paste this. Next line. Oop. And we want to go ahead and we want to print whatever the outcome of this is. Num1 and num2. Num1 plus num2. Um, and we should be able to do this for the same for subtraction. Except with a minus in there. Um, and copy all this. Uh, apart from the subtraction. Alright, so that should all work now. Uh, we could obviously simplify this down um, <coughs> by uh, calling a function, which we will do actually because it doesn't hurt. Define uh, get inputs. num1 and num2 equal get inputs. And we can do that for down here too. And then in here we can go And, uh, yeah, num1, number 1 equals input, uh, we'll do an in input there, uh, input number 1, actually that's not very good, input first number, then we can do this again uh, and break the line there and go number two and put second number and then we can return them both. So return number one comma number two. What this does is returning it in this format will assign number one to num1 and number two to num2. So we should be able to go ahead and run this now. Alright, so restarting this, we'll go into addition first. Input first number, um, let's go 15. Input second number, let's go uh, 12. And then pass them out of the function, uh, get inputs passes them into the addition function which prints out 27 which is correct 10 and 10 is 20 5 plus 2 is 7 27 let's go ahead and test it for subtraction uh, we have uh, let's go with 15 minus 7 which is 8 which is also correct uh, and now we can go ahead and quit the program uh, so that is how you go ahead and make a menu in Python 
or at least how I make my menus in Python when I'm just using a command line. Um, it's reasonably simple, um, just with a while loop running over it continually. Uh, this is here is all you really need. I just uh, overcomplicated it a little bit, um, but that doesn't hurt uh, at all. So I'll just simplify it out here, put some line breaks in there so you can see where the end of each um, part is. Um, and that is how you do it. Uh, we didn't test uh, for the case where you added a value that wasn't accepted. Let's just go do that. Alright, so we're going to rerun it and we're going to add in, say, w. So that's not an option and it will never go into anything, but it will still go into addition <coughs> um, or subtraction. And quit still. Alright, so thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Alright, hello there guys, um, you've obviously made it to the end of the video, uh, so you've obviously enjoyed it, or had to watch the whole thing at least. So if you could consider subscribing, that would be a great help to my channel. Um, if you have any suggestions for future videos, make sure to drop them in the comments below. Um, like the video to show your support uh, to me, so that I can know whether you like the content that I'm making. Um, and yeah, hope to see you in the